Alpine skiing was a big part of the game this year as some of the athletes skied down hills at upwards of 2,000 feet. This is Caleb Calhoun with your HMTV6 sports update. The Washington County North Stars wasted very little time Thursday night getting the upper hand on Montgomery Blair as they took an 8-1 win in the quarterfinals of the Maryland Student Hockey League Class 1A playoffs at the Hagerstown Ice and Sports Complex. I'm Caleb Calhoun with the Herald Mail and HMTV6 here with Special Olympian Jake Reynolds who's competing in the Maryland Special Olympics here at Whitetail, Pennsylvania. It was a big night for North Hagerstown on the basketball courts as well, not to mention dramatic. North boys knocked off Hedgesville 53-52 in their final regular season game as Kenny McCary scored a layup off a lob pass from Andrew Yak. The former Olympian was also a WNBA All-Star, and she's now sharing her experiences with her students. What should happen to Municipal Stadium and the Hagerstown Suns, especially given the fact that Winchester, Virginia has spent $15 million on building a new stadium trying to lure a baseball team there. After finishing speaking to city employees, Miller went outside and with a group of elementary school students helped raise the City Team USA flag, which will remain raised throughout the 2012 Paralympics. Those days were a distant memory for South on Thursday as the Rebels beat Smithsburg 67-41 to complete a perfect run through the Antietam Conference and earn their first conference title since 1995. Having been played for more than 50 years, the rivalry between North and South Hagerstown High represents a lot more than just school pride. It brings out people from both regions who went to both schools as many area residents have connections in both schools. This year's version of the Maryland Special Olympics includes a gold medal winner from the World Special Olympics in South Korea earlier this year. I just like to win the medal. Do you like to meet other people? Meeting other people. And other athletes. And other athletes. Jake Reynolds won a gold medal in alpine skiing, which is what he'll be doing this year in the 28th annual Special Olympics Maryland Winter Games. After the 2012 games were canceled due to weather conditions, the 2013 games stayed alive with snow on the ground and clear skies in the air. The event consisted of skiing and snowshoeing competitions. Special Olympics of Maryland Vice President of Communications Jason Schrimmel said that this year things changed for the opening ceremony as well. We had uh, two athletes that we put through our media training program, all part of our athlete leadership. Uh, and they, uh, they've been working with me to conduct the opening ceremonies, to be the MC. Alpine skiing was a big part of the games this year, as some of the athletes skied down hills at upwards of 2,000 feet. Reynolds' mother, Pam, worked as a volunteer for the games, but talked about what it was like the day her son came home from South Korea as a gold medalist. When he came back, they had Jake Reynolds' day and gave him a key to the city and, uh, you know, I mean, really made a big deal out of it. So that's something that, you know, uh, you know, if you have a child without a disability, you know, you're probably not going to have a day like that too often. The games are scheduled to last Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning. Reporting from Whitetail Resort in Pennsylvania, this is Caleb Calhoun with the Herald Mail and HMTV6. Thursday was just a normal school day for the students at North and South High, but the blood already seemed like it was starting to boil on the route between the two schools. For the most part on the surface it's friendly and fun, but for the most part I mean I know I, myself, and other people do get like really riled up about it. The 56th annual rivalry game between North and South High is scheduled for Friday night at 7 at South High. And with both teams fighting to get into the playoffs, the implications this year are much bigger. The rivalry is a huge deal. Um, it's a really good way not only for the athletes to represent what they're doing on and off the field, but it's a great way to get school spirit. Having been played for more than 50 years, the rivalry between North and South Hagerstown High represents a lot more than just school pride. It brings out people from both regions who went to both schools, as many area residents have connections in both schools. The principals even got involved, each getting a gift for each other. North High Principal Dwayne McNair was an assistant principal at South High and at E. Russell Hicks Middle School, so he's seen the rivalry from both sides. We know that uh, going into it, both teams are 8-1, and, and there's a lot on the line for both those teams, and you know we, we know it's going to be a tough one. North High leads the overall series 29-25-1, to but they lost 40-7 to to South High last year after having beaten them eight straight years before that. South Principal Timothy Dawson talked about what that victory did for the school and the area. It was a really uplifting, it really was, for our student body, and not just for our student body, for our community. 
it showed us uh, and gave us a sense that you know we can compete with North. North High is third in the Class 3A West Division and South High is fifth based on the Maryland point system. The top four teams in each division make the tournament. Reporting from Hagerstown, this is Caleb Calhoun with the Herald Mail and HMTV6. She says she hasn't forgotten the feeling of winning a gold medal in 1988. You, you can write it down, but you, you have to feel it. It's, 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 a, it's a feeling that you, know, you can't take away. First year HCC women's basketball coach Vicki Bullitt has made time to watch the Olympics this year. Do you want to see all these other athletes, you know, take their bout and go out there and, and challenge themselves? A former star at University of Maryland and WNBA player, Bullitt said the game has gotten faster and changed since she played, but that doesn't stop her from using her experience as a recruiting tool. Even though my experience is beyond theirs, but it's, I want to expose it to them. The former Olympian was also a WNBA All-Star, and she's now sharing her experiences with her students. Freshman guard Katie Connolly says that Bullet was one of the reasons she committed to HCC after she was recruited by her at Boonesboro. Yeah, she sent me a letter and she watched me play, and so we kind of talked and then I decided to come here. Although she can't run practices for the team this time of the year, certain players like Ashley Smothers are using some of the workout routines that Bullet suggested to her. Uh, you can, like, gain a lot of information from her about the game and stuff because she knows a lot. Despite all her accomplishments, Bullet said she's as hungry now in her current profession as she has been in the past. Having the work ethics and the, you know, the family support I had always makes you hungry for the next you know, opportunities in your life. And after our interview, she went off on a recruiting trip. Reporting from Hagerstown, this is Caleb Calhoun with the Herald Mail and HMTV6.